All right, this time in the Quick Speed Shop, check it out. Bam! If you want to know how hard it is to put a new fuel tank in a 75 to 91 Ford Econoline van, well, I'm going to show you right now. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Brand new fuel tank. Boom. So I had to get a new tank for this van because I went out. I had the, the original tank was uh, in nice shape overall outside. It was uh, not rusty really on the outside. Everything was good. But unfortunately, this van sat for several years. I'm not even sure how many. It had 12 gallons of fuel in it that was extremely old. And it was ethanol-based fuel. So it had attracted a lot of moisture. And I went, I've got the original tank outside. And I went and I drained all the fuel out of it with a siphon, and it came out orange, like the color of orange soda. I didn't feel comfortable running the original tank. It would have been really hard to clean the outside of it, or the inside of it, out um, to get all the rust out of it. Since this is a fuel-injected vehicle with high-pressure fuel pumps and stuff, I didn't feel comfortable running the original tank. So I went to Rock Auto, and I ordered a new one. It's a new Spectre tank. It was pretty reasonable. It was only $80 for a brand new tank, so it wasn't even worth trying to figure out how to clean the old one out. So I got a new tank, and I also ordered the sending unit with a new low-pressure fuel pump. This van has two, two fuel pumps. It has a lift pump in the tank, and then it has a high-pressure pump on the frame rail. I'm going to be replacing both pumps on the van because that was the problem. one of the problems when I bought it. The original fuel pumps didn't work. So I got the new tank. The only thing I'm waiting on is the sending unit. It should be here tomorrow. I can slap that in here and get the tank installed up in the van right away. I'm going to spray some fluid film underneath the bottom of the van and on the top of the tank to protect that. And then I'll do the underside of it when I get done. All right, so next day my fuel uh, sending unit came in. So I'm going to install the gas tank now. And what I've done already, if I got the uh, vent out of the old tank, it's just got a rubber uh, O-ring up here. Or oh, wearing a rubber, what do you call it, uh, grommet that holds it into there. It just presses in the tank. I cleaned up the hose. I put a new piece of 3 8 line on here to hook to the vent because it was cracked. I cleaned this hose up with some silicone, the uh, smaller vent line that appears to be okay shape. So that's on there. Uh, I've got a brand new, this is what I'm waiting for, the brand new sending unit slash uh, fuel pump here. It's got a low volume lift pump here. This is a Delphi unit. Delphi FE0065 and I bought this on Rock Auto. Here's the part number for the whole thing, 16921 I guess. So it's the whole new unit here. It's going to slip right in the tank and face this way I believe. It's got a metal lock ring that holds it on here. What I'm going to do to install this is I've taken the rubber o-ring and this lays in here to make the seal. I've got some silicone lubricant I'm just going to lube it up with silicone to help it seal and keep any uh, moisture out so it'll be less likely to rust in the future. I'm going to just put a real slight bead of silicone in there. Now this doesn't set up, this is just like a, a liquid silicone that stays soft all the time. I'm just going to use it as a lubricant and to help keep out any moisture like I said. I'm just going to smear it around in there. Take the rubber and just lay it into the silicone. Should press, I'm gonna press into here. Now the bottom of this is indexed, the two metal uh, keepers here. That's indexed to the hole they go down. So you just wanna take your sending unit and pump and work it into the hole. Should want to layer it in here. I 
I'm gonna bend the tabs just a little bit with a pair of pliers. Just, just hang out just a little bit. Come on now. that's in there it seems a little off center in the hole like the one little tab is kicking it off to the side and I don't know why if it's not going into the slot correctly or whatever huh it's fighting me It's like the slots, like the old tab is just a little too wide to go in the slot here. Oh. I'm going to file just a little bit of this off and then put it down here. We'll put the lock ring on. Okay, I filed just a little bit of the tab off and got it to uh, go down in there where it needs to go. It was close. It was just barely interfering and I didn't like how it was going. So now we'll take this lock ring and this just kind of taps around with a, uh, a hammer. Why on earth? What in the world? like this lock ring. This is the one that came with a fuel pump. It's also not the right quite diameter. I made it, I'll use the one for the tank. This is the, the smarter plan. I don't know what I'm... A... So the lock ring that came with a fuel pump was also a little bit too small. I should have known better. I started trying to do it and it wouldn't go under the clasp all the way. So now I've got the one that came with the tank. That was uh, what I should have done in the first place. Now this just taps around here and it locks in place. I have the electrical harness which I pulled off the original tank. This just clips down on here. There's some green. You can see grease. I've smeared it back into the contacts. Just helps keep the moisture out. I'm going to go ahead and place this right on here so just snap on. Now that the uh, electric just hangs over the top of the tank and sits in here. Here's our fuel pickup lines. Everything is good here. Alright, next up is the, scent, the uh, filler neck. And here I've got the filler neck here. It goes in the driver's side of the van, the steel part here. And I yanked this out in one shot with a tank and had to like fight with it to get it out. But these hoses are junk. So I've ordered new hoses here. New uh, Graf Rock Auto. So I got a new filler neck and then I've got a piece of hose for the, the vent line. So I'm going to install the hoses on the tank first and they'll feed up over the frame rail and I'll be able to slide them up onto the filler neck once it gets in the van. So. By looking here, this down section goes on here. Got a little bit of silicone blaster. I'm going to put a little bit of silicone on the hose just to help it slide right on nice. Just going to go and install that right now. Whoop, just like that. Take a look here and match this up. Yeah, it looks good. That's the right end. It came with two new hose clamps here, so I can go ahead and put the new hose clamps on. Brand new hose clamps. Put 
we go. And then I cut a piece of uh, rubber, I believe this is three quarter inch hose, to do the uh, the vent line or the return line or flow. There we go. And I should have my stash over here, a new clamp to put on that. There we go, now we got new hoses installed, installed on our tank. The tank is ready to install. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get out some of my fluid film in my big spray can right here, fluid film for rust protection. I'm gonna spray the top of this tank with lanolin here, the, the fluid film lanolin rust protection. I'm also gonna spray underneath the bottom of the floor of the van and inside the frame rails where this is gonna go. So it'll uh, prevent any uh, moisture and salt and whatever. I'm not gonna dry this in the winter, but it'll prevent corrosion by coating the top of the tank and uh, protect it for years to come. I can spray it right on here. It won't hurt electrical components. So uh, I'll coat it on up and then we'll go Kurt and put the tank in. I need to cut the old hoses off the filler neck. Here I can install the steel filler neck into the side of the quarter panel and that will be ready to accept the new hoses when they when they come up into place. Okay, I'm just going to blow a little fluid film on here. place the tank on my stool and get her to, I think it'll wheel right under the van, right on the stool. I think it'll just fit. Oh, is it gonna go? Oh man, does the stool go down anymore? Maybe. Oh, right there. Look at that. Perfect. We'll just stool her right into place here. I gotta get my hoses up and over. Come on. Gotta, oh, come back here. Get my hoses up and up and over the frame. Okay. Stool would go back up. Okay. Get down there. All right. Come on now. Come on. I just gotta fight it up onto the hoses and then get the straps. I don't need to watch this whole fight, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna be real hard to film, but I gotta hook up the fuel lines. I got the 3 8 line here and the 5 16 line, and they're gonna press up on the tank up there on the sending unit. Um, they've got a spring clip here with a little springy clip here that goes in, and it, uh, it's like a quick, quick connect. I think it goes like like that there and then you just jam the line on and it holds so I'm going to spray just a little bit of silicone spray in here so it's lubricated both ones I've got a clip for this I think they just push right on. 
I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. It's going to be really hard for me to try to eyeball or try to get this where you can see it. Okay, the three eighths one is on the left driver's side. line clipped on. Now let's see if the return line will clip on. Okay, both fuel lines are hooked on now. Now I just need to get the, the tank back in the back in the shape here. Kind of like that. Make sure my fuel, fuel lines aren't pinched. But they're good. Okay, I'm just gonna check my lines, make sure nothing's pinched. The fuel line, the supply line, and the return line. Make sure they're not pinched here. I can wiggle them around, that's good. Perfect. And uh, then I'm just gonna draw the tank up tight with the straps and the tank will be installed. Bam. Well, I got it, finally. I had to uh, Clipped some lines on there, then got the tank struggled back up in there. Got the straps all tight. The tank is nice and installed now. Got the nice fluid filling up on top, so it's going to be rust protected. Then I, when I get this van out on the road and next year, I'm going to spray the underside of it all the way with fluid fill. But that's uh, that's touched up good. Or, I mean, yeah, it's touched up good with that. So everything's hooked up nice. The tank's got the new fuel pump, new sending unit, all that plugged in. It should work good. And then up front, I got a new... Uh, uh, fuel pump for the frame rail. It goes along. This has got a low pressure pump in the tank that takes gas up to the high pressure pump. I think this is like six psi or something, or maybe less than that, to get the pressure up, and that's like 40 pounds up in the front. So I'm going to change both fuel pumps and a fuel filter, Wix fuel filter. So I'll have a whole brand new fuel system, and uh, should be good to go. New tank, new pumps, new new uh, sending unit, and all that. So I'm going to get to that a little bit later. i got to do some more work on the back of the van. I'm going to clean up the axle, axle housing and paint it with the Eastwood Rust Encapsulator Black. Um, just clean that up. This thing has new brakes on the back. Before I bought it, somebody put new shoes on it. So that's all nice. And I uh, just want to button up the back. And the, uh, one more thing I want to add is a trailer hitch. I'm either going to have to build one or find one that fits um, out of my stash of hitches I have. But I'll probably have to end up building one or buying one to bolt on here, a uh, two-inch receiver hitch. So I can pull trailers if I want, but that'll be uh, that'll be good. But we're wrapping down on the mechanics here. Um, once I get the back wheels back on, I'm going to pick the front of the van up. I've got to change the transmission pan gasket and filter, and I've got to put a new gasket or a seal around the shifter linkage that's leaking out of the transmission. Put in that new front fuel filter, 
and then it's time I think to set it down and put some gas in the tank and see if the thing will fire up. So I'm going to be getting this thing running pretty soon, real soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Then I'm going to pull it out and get my 37 Ford in here for the rest of the winter and work on that for the rest of the winter. So thanks for watching. A little bit of work today on the buggy van. And we'll see it again here when i got less greasy hands at the Quick Speed Show.